Do you believe that the Gulenist organisation was responsible for the coup? I think the answer has to be um, in large part in terms of significant involvement. The answer is yes. What evidence is there of a link between Fethullah Gulen himself and those who carried out the coup? Well, you're asking for, as it were, absolutely emphatic, clear answers to what no, is what a... Is, no, no, I'll, 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 I'm giving you an answer as, as best I can give an honest answer. In the same way as you ask about the Gulenist organisation as such, were they involved, uh, and I've given you as clear an answer as I think it's fair to give, the trouble is the nature of that organisation itself is not entirely clear because uh, a lot of it's hidden, um, it works underground, uh, it, it, it inevitably is sort of below the radar, so, you know, it's a complicated phenomenon to analyse. Likewise, I am not in a, you know, total authoritative position to say, yeah, they take all their instructions every day, twice a day from Fethullah Gulen. I can't say that. Uh, but in a way, the fact is there was a massive organisation here uh, which did try and overturn an entire democratic structure. Your, your, your submission to us didn't mention this massive organisation at all. Do you believe that the Gulenists were a state within a state? I think from where I sit, if I were asked to say yes or no, I would say yes. Is it absolutely crystal clear? Uh, it's impossible to answer. I think that there are there is a court process here which will decide. You know, extradition requests, that kind of thing. That's a, a court process. Um, you know, I'm a foreign minister, not the you know only the world's greatest expert on Fatullah Gulen. But but that, that is the judgment I'd offer this committee. Yeah, but your but your department will have evidence. You must have. You must, have, you must have briefings. You must have you want, yeah. from, from our embassy and okay. from perhaps no, intelligence sources about these things. Um, if I may, if Lindsay can... Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, so it might be helpful to explain from a kind of official perspective in the, in the Foreign Office what kind of information we do have, what kind of information we don't have about the coup. We know quite a lot about the individuals who seem to have been involved in the coup because that was quite evident by their actions. We know much less about the organisations to which those individuals belonged. Many of the key individuals, by the nature of an attempted coup, were from the military. It isn't consistent, really, with membership of the military to be a member of an alternative organisation. So it isn't clear how many of the military people were Gulenists, and it isn't clear the degree to which the organisation or the multiple organisations which make up Gulenism were themselves directing or driving any of the activity. 